I like trains, you like trains. This should be a good video. This is Fortnite's new train, and I'm gonna be dropping on top of it 100 times. Why? I need money. The train circles the map constantly and is always in a new spot, which means every single drop should be unique. And if I can live the early game, I should leave the train with some good stuff. Look at this giant chest. So yeah, that's the basics. I'm gonna drop on the train, try not to die, and hopefully leave with some good stuff. Of course, dabbing on top of the train's probably not the best strategy. All right, game two, and I'm already stressed out trying to figure out where this train's going. This is gonna be fun. A little behind this time, let's see how this one goes. Got myself a shotgun and was able to take out this guy worrying about unarmed men on the side of the train and this guy tried to loot on top of me but you know I've got a shotgun so now I've just got to wait for the big crate to open that's got some really nice stuff and then I can leave sweet I'm gonna leave here with full shields and blue stuff also whatever that purple thing is yeah this looks like a good spot to leave nice little farm uh oh I'm trespassing looks like this man knows how to edit generally that means I'm cooked but somehow I came out on top now that I got a second what's this purple thing some kind of like whip what anime is this from? Might as well go into the farm. There's a big glowing circle that can only mean good things. How do you guys feel about these scopes? I don't really like them, but I might just be a Fortnite boomer. Against my better judgment, I ran into that scrap only to be shot in the back. Then the scrap got scrappier and I died. Oh, sorry. I did not die. I was eliminated by being shot with bullets. No lame game today. Time for train gains and pain. Train was peaceful. Game three got shot in the leg, but for the train, that's peaceful. After collecting my stimulus, I was at full health with blue stuff, so I can't complain. As soon as I left the train, someone wanted to fight. I also wanted to fight. My father did a poor job. We fought like men. I won. Got a nice gun upgrade too. I have no idea where I am. This train just dumped me off wherever. Somehow, I stumbled my way back to the farm. This time, there's two glowing circles there. I then dropped my purple gun for a green gun. I don't know why. Oh, Mr. Shot! So I found a cozy little corner to hunker down for a little bit. Final circle, I have very little confidence in myself. Found a nice spot, but was attacked by someone who uses this game instead of therapy. Bro, I have green stuff. I am literally not worth your time. Ah, see, see, look at that. Now we're both dead. Back at the train, of course, I am cursed to it for the next hundred. I'm the one who cursed me, so I deserve it. Two murders on the train today. Everyone wants that crate. Honestly, after four games, I can already tell it's pretty mid. Yeah, you're always gonna leave with some blue guns and full health, but feel like I could do better on my own out there. Whatever, I won't find out. I'm dropping train. Looks like I arrived by some sort of mountain. I should probably check that out. I got distracted by a gentleman who did not see me. Knowing he was injured, I sprayed my way to victory. Then it was to another town I was absolutely not familiar with. I played like an absolute buffoon. I really don't even want to show this. Bit late on the drop, game five. I'm not gonna get to the train on time. I'm dropping on the front of it and late. This ain't looking good. And then my guns got stolen. With nothing, I tried to run away. I wouldn't have let me live either. The train was super far, game six, and I dropped poorly. Well, better late than never, I guess. Thankfully, no one dropped train, not a soul. I'm still incredibly behind, but at least I'm not dead. All right, big chest now open. I can actually start playing this game. Uh, oh, okay, that was a nice life. I'm fighting for my life every single game over mid-tier blue loot. What am I even doing? Like here, game eight, I drop in, all the loot's gone, I'm gunless, I just leave. Looks like my train dropping has led to hitchhiking. He seems like a chill guy. Thanks for the ride, buddy. I'll see you later. I'm now on 18 health, living off gas station food. If that's relatable, I'm sorry. I found myself in ruined reels, still on 18 health, and somehow got myself a kill. I just kind of stood there in shock. I can't believe I've come this far. Despite everything, I've made it to the final circle. And I got the high ground. If I pull this off, it'll be legendary. All right, purple ball, let's do it. I jumped right into a shotgun. Good job, Black Jesus. Got ourselves a bit of a standoff game now. One thing's for certain, one of us will end up dead. I went in on him and died. Dropped in game 10 and like a lunatic, wasted good bullets on a guy that had no gun. Yeah, sure, I got him, but I wasted time and someone with a shotgun got me. Game 11, I'm dropping onto a train that already has dead bodies on it. No gun, but thankfully this player was injured and I got him with my pickaxe. Whew, that was a stressful one. It looks like I have just enough time to get off. <laughs> incredibly far train game 12 i'm just not gonna make it i wonder what happens if it runs me over i knew a dude was on the train i shouldn't have jumped on it gunless i knew i was gonna die but it's already been such a terrible game might as well get this one out of the way. Barely lived game 14. Four health, that's it. Now the train should provide me with everything I need to not be on four health. Yep, left full with blue guns. I did get a little surprised by the AI and they took away 50 of my shields. So then I went to write in my diary about how much I hate the AI when I saw footsteps on the screen. You see, this is why you shouldn't hate. It's bad for you. Game 14, I'm gonna try to do what everyone's doing to me. That is, I'm gonna drop at a train station, loot up a bit, and then jump on the train. This game, it did not matter. The train was uncontested. A man did 
jump on later, but I was ready and killed him. Getting off the train, I am again right by the farm, staying in my lane when someone tried to take me out with a car. Had the high ground, thought I was fine, but forgot they can just clamber right up. Someone was shooting me from the side, I miss Halo. But he tried to clamber up, but with my gray shotgun, I took him down. Then, of course, default danced on him. It was looking to be a great game, but I got in the fight later, and we both died. Alright, same strat as last game, where I don't drop train. I hit up the gas station real quick and completely missed the train. <sighs> <laughs> I could have just lived my trainless life, but decided to try to catch it. I'm an honorable man. Oh sweet, they didn't start the murdering without me. There was a bit of a standoff over the big crate, though I do like my position better than his. While poking, I got poked myself. I tried to heal, but he rushed in. I did my best, but I don't really like this pump shotgun. Well, everybody, it's official. I've been crowned the CEO of Missing the Train. Dropped in, got a gun, and thought this guy was cooked. He's in the open, but apparently he's a good sprayer. No one on the train, game 17. That's how I like it. Getting off in, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not even sure. There's snow. And trees, which I need. The train provides hardly any material. And now it looks like I'm fighting. Great. All I've got is that pump shotgun I really don't like. Seems like this fight, and all my other fights, end in spraying. I'll take note of that. Little fight at the start of game 18. This guy had the very, very intelligent play of jumping off the train into the open. That's weird. I thought that would have worked for him. I have no idea where I am. Fortnite keeps changing the map, even though we all just want the OG one. Later, I found a sniper and used it to shoot this black cock. What? What? It was a male chicken. Colored black. I'm gonna lie? Sniped a few different people, mostly in the leg. Though I did see a guy on my train and that just won't stand. Yeah, why am I even using this shotgun, bro? It's useless. 28 damage. You know what? Nah, I'm probably just not the best shot. All right, here in the final circle. Let's do it. Things were going swimmingly until I got sniped. Is that what that feels like? With nine health, I got pushed. Uh-oh. I was alive for about four more seconds. Again, left the train alive and solo game 19. Well, looks like I've been losing enough where Fortnite feels bad for me. I'm definitely in bot lobbies now. I really just tried to stay out of trouble in this game, and that's pretty much how I always win. Yep, this is me sitting in a corner for about five minutes. Two other guys left and I'm hoping they just kill each other. This is a pretty nasty final circle. We're all going off the edge of a cliff. I had a guy right under me and he shot me pretty good right as I used my purple ball. And I overshot it. Oh well, I think that's the closest I've been to winning. And you can tell I wanted that dub. I put the soccer skin on game 20. I've also noticed the train's a little bit slower these days. I think most people have found that it's a strategy for those unwell in the mind. I still tried to keep mostly to myself, but you know, it's Fortnite. Sometimes you gotta give a guy the business. And these these aren't even people. I can tell they're all computers. If you're seeing this and you're like, oh, that's me, I'm not a computer. I'm not sorry. Circle finale. This one, not off the side of a cliff. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, this is awkward. My stairs are backwards and I don't have a rotate button. <laughs> I had one of the auto shotguns, which I gotta say is just so much better than the pump, man. Let me get this kill. Easy. One verse one, let's do it. Uh, oh, that's not a good way to start. This one was looking good. He's got to push towards me, but I didn't reload my shotgun. Give me a full shotgun. This game probably would have been over, and I also only had nine bullets in my assault rifle. That, that was embarrassing. I died to the storm. Ooh, yeah. Mmm, you can taste that salt. I put the soccer skin right back on for the next one. I was gonna hit the loot on this train station real quick, but there was a guy there, and even though I sprayed pretty well, I didn't get him. Dropped in game 22 and got myself some loot, all before this player got anything. He accepted his fate. Honestly, I should do that more often. Thanks for playing, guys. Good game. I was spat out by snooty steps. No one was here, just me and some robots. Every time I fight someone, I die. So I'm just going to stand here and admire this tablecloth. Go into the circle and really hoping that guy didn't see me. Yeah, he did, we're fighting. I got away with my purple balls and it seems like thankfully he didn't have any. Then with a good spray here, I evened the fight. But that gold circle on the map means his shields are recharging this entire time. I think I did pretty well considering the circumstances. I seem to be getting smashed by dudes who have that shield power, which kind of sucks because there's no shield power on the train. The train doesn't even have common decency. It's an absolute zoo. Forget the shield power. I'm just trying not to get shot in the back. Hardly even got the chest open, game 24, and I was dead. Chill train ride, game 25, that's nice. Now I'm by lavish layer, but completely late, so someone already has that shield power. I mean, it's my fault. I'm the one dropping train. But I am gonna go try to take it, because it's super good, and I know his IP address. He evaded me, but I did find a bike and a really nice shotgun. Look at the map, you can see the final circle is pretty much always just a bunch of dudes with these powers. And I do not have any. I'm gonna show you all the game 26 right here. It's just footage of me dropping in, and then it cuts out. I don't remember why I didn't write notes. I'm not even moving. I mean, I was conscious enough to hit record. You see, there we go. I'm moving a little bit. 
I probably realized I missed the train and said, eh, yeah, whatever. Oh no! Ah! So this one's labeled game 27, but I got 26 on the soccer skin. Ah! Looks like I totally missed the train too. I don't know what's wrong with me. Got to the end, so at least there's that. I have virtually nothing, but I'm going to try. Oh, oh, he's coming right for me. Ah! Oh, and falling didn't stop him. Ah! Despite having the high ground and a little bit of damage on him, he still totally killed me. Oh no, this one's messed up too. Oh well, at least it didn't last that long. This is how I'm gonna get the win. I'm gonna drop train. I'm gonna sit in a room. I'm gonna wait. I don't love Final Circle with impecunious loot, but I'm gonna do my best. Yep, already being attacked by guys that heal. I did a little damage to him, but it won't matter. He'll get that back in a few seconds. Minding my own business, Game 30, and should have been way more careful at the train station. Also, shouldn't have built on the train that you can't build on. Switching up the strat here a bit, I can't keep living how I'm living. I'm gonna try my best to play for those shield powers here. I'm in reckless railways. I'd rather be in Salty Springs, but that's beside the point. Anyway, tried to play for the good stuff and died for it. Dropped off the train, Game 32, figured it'd be here soon and I got what I deserve, 99th place. Just kind of sucks dropping train, because here by the time I got to Lavish Layer, the shield power had already been taken. And now everyone but me has gold privilege. It's totally my fault. I'm the one dropping train. I deserve this. After hopping off the train, I fought over this boss and slid in and killed Goku for the power. Not only do you get the power, you get a vault too, all to yourself. It's absolutely busted. Looting up this place had me really regretting picking to drop the train. This is what my Taco Bell sees the next morning. All right, now I got constant shield healing. Let's get this win. Oh, got a sweet gun too. This one's mythic. That's what I've been missing. But I did get shot very bad. I tried to run away. Storm got me. Let's just skip to the final circle again. I made it this time. I did get the shield buff, that's half the reason I made it this far. However, these mountains are insanely tall and I've got no way to move other than my feet. And now I've got to go up the mountain, basically 90 degrees. Hard task on its own, and I did myself no favors. Really, would have liked some purple balls in that one. Train spat me out near no real buffs, game 36, so I got to killing bots. Chilling in the middle of nowhere and got shot. You know what though, I pumped him good there. Grabbing back that high ground I built over myself on two separate occasions, I don't know how I can stop that. Oh no, very simple. Simple answer, get good. Brought Mater along with me to the train. Losing is more fun with friends. Honestly, the train is so much worse with friends. The loot, which is already not very good, is now halved between the two of us. Oh well, let's see if we can make this work. So far, killing bots is going well. Got to fencing fields where calamity erupted. Mater went down. Tried my best to save him. I did get one, but this is duos. For some reason, game 38, the boss was outside his lair on the train tracks. That's weird. I killed the boss and got the stuff. Nice. However, because I dropped train, I had no materials to defend myself. Mater tried, but that was a strange one. After looting the train game 39, we decided to hunt some endangered animals. All right, so now at least one of us has the shield power. That gives us a little bit of a chance. All right, man, we just gotta hold this high ground, hold out, let that circle get small. We're strong, we can live. Hello. Train let out near Snooty. Let's see how this goes. We died. Game 41, we did not win. And that is all that matters. Brought Jake along for trios. I don't know why, it's just gonna make the train even worse. Against all odds with terrible stuff, we made it to Reckless Railways and got the power. We got lucky, found ourselves in Grand Glacier and this boss hadn't been killed either. So now two of us recharge our shields indefinitely. I like those odds. We still have to play this smart. We're not the only ones with power. I led my friends to the mountains. They're so extreme, they make excellent cover. Now we're in a 3v3 anything can happen. And by anything, I mean a tiger man can jump in your box and whip you off for you to fall to your death. Ah, looks like he fell too. Not so fun, huh? After that, I'm really not sure what happened. I was incredibly distracted. But we won the game! Victory Royale! Yay for trains! Back-to-back -back train wins? Yeah? No, 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 that's stupid. No. Game 44 is Lego Fortnite. Uh, I, I don't know why. I'm making a video on it. Just wait. It's gonna be great. Subscribe. Oh, back to the train. Looted up, grabbed a bike, and killed some bots. What is this dude even doing? Oh, got myself a boss kill. This one's looking good. Saw this person's daddy money from across the map and shot him in the face. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Final circle on top of the largest mountain I've ever seen. I was attacked by this player. I don't think he's a human, despite him having two of the powers. So now I can tell I'm the only dude with shield regen, and I've got four of them. This should be a piece of cake. Yeah, I did get hit in the leg, but by the time I built up a structure, I was healed to full. With the other guy in the open. It just took one shot to win this game. It took 45 games. I'm pretty sure they were all computers. But that victory royale dropping train still felt notable. Two in a row? Maybe? No. Game 47 was looking promising. That is until I jumped off the train and off a bridge. 
going for the boss and got wasted. Game 48, but that's how I'm gonna win. That's how we're gonna win. I'm back in trios. Boss down, let's get it. We all had snipers, so we sniped. It's not a bad strat. Final circle, lots of cover and lots of headshots. Everyone's gotta push towards us and we're up a mountain. That's pretty much a no-lose situation. See, we got it. Whoa. Whoa. All right, guys, come on, back to back. We can do it. Believe in the train. No superpowers, but this circle is on top of a mountain. We do decent up there. It was a bit of a mad dash to the circle, but we kept our cool and got stronger. One verse three, he's got to push towards us. I don't think we lose this. Oh, yeah, you already know. Back to back wins. Three in a row, though? Come on. Three in a row, maybe? Well, we're going to try. We're in the end again here. I never watched what TV show this whip is from and got killed in the open. All right, guys, your pro gamer friend is dead. Do your best. They did do their best. And and got second place. Back to solos, my friends hated the train, cause it's terrible. You're just delaying the inevitable going to a boss and killing him, because that's pretty much the only way to win. But even if you do have the power, it's not a guarantee. I will say, showing up to the boss late sometimes works out. This guy didn't know I was there. And now I'm in the final circle, euthanizing vermin. Yeah, dude, great job, just stand there. One verse one, and my dad has more money. Aw, oh, dude, I had a mythic spray machine, that was an easy one. Ah, the default dance was slightly disrespectful. Train's in the middle of nowhere, so no power for me today, it's just like that sometimes. Tried to steal some powers, but he got away. Not gonna lie, Fortnite, climbing up the side of the wall like this just doesn't feel right. I can't be the only one. 55 was bad, 56 was a struggle, 57 was amazing. Lee Bad didn't even get off the train game 58. Got off the train, but got bullied inside of the vault game 59. 60 was going okay, kind of feeling it, hunting down this man for his power. Got several kills near the end, thanks to my good guns. Did get a little too cocky though. Was gonna kill this one, but then I ran out of ammo. Bit of a standoff on the train game 62. I got brave and rushed in. That was foolish. Hijacking a train is a federal crime. This criminal deserved this. I've gone here 63 times now. I'm not hijacking. I own this thing. I don't know what I'm on about. This is just another game where I don't. Die. Make you move, bruh. Come on. Do it. Yeah, that's right. You better run. I got killed at the boss I have to kill or I'll lose the game anyway. Back in the same place, game 65, but this time I left alive. Tried to get away. Got lasered. If you've never been on public transportation in America, this clip is essentially what you will experience. Except it'll smell way worse. Now that you mention it, this is pretty much the American gas station experience as well. All right, I'm done with the American jokes. They make me sad. I've got to live in this rotten place. Didn't even loot game 68. Oh, but you know I ain't playing game 69 and this time it's labeled a pro. Appropriately. Looks like I'm in Snooty. I don't like Snooty, but here I am. And someone's already got the shield power, so this is gonna be an uphill battle. I walked into this fight half health. I had no chance. Here's game 70. Did you like it? I'm fairly certain I would have got this kill here if I didn't bonk my head on the tunnel. Threw off my whole movement, then I died. Did not die game 72, at least not right away. And you're about to witness my only decent pump shot in this whole video. Then I got greedy and went to fencing fields for more power and got pumped myself. Gun got yeeted game 73 and I died shortly after. Lived a little longer game 74 but not that much longer. Then game 75, the train chest opened and my eyes closed forever. Almost got a gun, game 76. Almost. Missed the train, game 77. Should have just got on with my life. Instead, I ran in and died. Train was actually fine, game 78, but now it's time to go fight for those stupid powers. I just described nearly half the games in this video. It's, uh, it's been a bit of a struggle. Sometimes those do make the best videos, though, and probably, in some way, made me better at Fortnite. The train was relentless for the next few games. All right, last 10. This train ride is almost over. Listen, bro, if you dropped the train 100 times, I guarantee you, you'd be sick of it too. I don't mean to yell. I'm sorry. I know you don't like it when dad does that. Just tired of getting dumped off in random locations late with poor loot and having to fight. But hey, you know, that's kind of the point. Not like I dropped train thinking I was going to win every game. I definitely did think I would win more than I did. It was kind of a nightmare. Showing up late, getting the best stuff in the game definitely is what set me back. These blue and green guns just do not perform, especially against players that heal passively with mythic stuff. You know what though? I dropped train because I'll probably never get the opportunity ever again. Maybe one day I'll miss this but I doubt it. I guess I'm just glad you were all here to enjoy the ride with me. It had its fun moments for sure. I had a lot of fun with my friends before they stopped playing with me because this sucks. Oh joy, I'm being bullied in the vault by a seven year old who can edit. This is so great. This one's gonna have a weird ending. I'm not happy with the train or how it went. I, I don't know what else to say. I was really trying to win. It's just hard. I feel like I was playing with one hand tied behind my back. And you know what? If there's gonna be a time, it's right now. I've got two mythics and shield power. Let's do it. Plan was to hold high ground. That is always the plan. 
Uh-oh, this guy's taking high ground. From there, my entire life delved into chaos. I got coned in and then shot. You know, not bad for dropping train. And I'll be honest, the rest of the games, I get murdered pretty quickly on the train. There's just nothing else going on. I tried. Look, I've got the sweatiest skin there is. Didn't matter. Either way, I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle for life on this train. There will definitely be more Fortnite content coming soon, so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe. But this is it, game 100. It's not much. I struggled with Eminem to get a gun and then was shot in the back. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, members. Stay notable. See you in the next one. Choo -choo!